Okay, here we're going to talk about a perpetuity. So here we're starting uh, time value of money the multiple cash flows. So the idea here is, is we're going to talk about particular contracts which have uh, many cash flows. And a perpetuity actually has cash flows off to infinity. So that what a perpetuity is, is where it's a contract where we have uh, every period, so the idea is you can't miss a period, every period off into infinity, it pays some amount. Also, it can't pay a different amount, so it can't be, you know, $5 here, $5 here, $6 here, then $5, that wouldn't be a perpetuity. Again, it can't skip a period. So the idea here is we have an uh, uh, equal payment every period for an infinite number of periods, and we also have a constant discount rate. So. That, when we have that, uh, a contract uh, structured like that is a perpetuity. So uh, these things do exist in real life. An example would be preferred stock. Good. So the idea here is, uh, given a perpetuity, how do we find uh, the present value of it, right? So the idea here is, from looking at single cash flows, we can easily find the present value of perpetuity simply by discounting each cash flow individually. So discount this back, one period, back two, back two periods, back three periods. Of course, this goes on, you know, four, dot, 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 you know. Discount the next one back four periods, five periods, and so forth. And then once they're all at time zero, sum them up. Remember, if all the cash flows are in time zero dollars, we can sum them. Now, you might say, well, you have to do this off into infinity. Uh, true, well, no. Uh, the idea here is to get the exact, you would, however, uh, yeah. to, to, to do this, you could go out just like 50 periods, 100 periods in Excel, and you'll, you, you'll get the present value of the perpetuity. So in effect, what you can think of is infinite is, I don't know, maybe 50 periods, 100 periods, right? But the idea here is I can easily do this in Excel uh, very quickly. Uh, all I do is just discount these. Uh, you know, I might do a couple of these in Excel to show you how, how to lay them out. Um, but uh, you can easily do this in Excel and get the answer. However, uh, in the past, people didn't have spreadsheets, so it would be, it would be hard to, to discount out 50 periods, out of 100 periods. So we derived a closed form solution. So I'll derive a closed form solution here, uh, but given what we know about single cash flows, we can ar already get the answer, so long as we have Excel or a program advantage. Okay, so now, you know, so this is what we want. Can we get a closed form solution? So the idea of this is, and it's important that you see this derivation because it's a, a lot of students will never really realize that when I give you this formula, it's, a, it's the same thing as just discounting each cash flow individually. But to, to get a closed form solution for this, what we need to do is get rid of the infinite sum here, right? Uh, the sum off to infinity. So what you can note is if I uh, multiply through, multiply both sides of this equation by one plus r, then I can say present value of perpetuity times one plus r is equal to c, uh, plus c over 1 plus r squared plus c over 1 plus r to the third plus off into, off into infinity. And if you look at the two, the only difference is this c. Uh, no, uh, multiple, yeah, so, uh, so I should, I need, uh, pardon me, I need uh, 1, 2, so this would be 1, uh, two and then third power and so forth. So that, you know, the, the next here would be C, one plus R to the third. Good. Uh, so the idea here is, the only difference between uh, these two is this C, right? The, this cancels this, this is the same as that, that. So they cancel if I subtract, right? So the idea here is, if I subtract, take this away from this, then I'm going to get present value of perpetuity times one plus R, uh, minus present value of perpetuity is equal to C, right? That's the, that's the only term here uh, that is not here. Every term here is here, right? Uh, once I have that, I can, I can factor out the present value of perpetuity. So this is present value of perpetuity. One plus R minus one is equal to the cash flow per period. Uh, then we get the present value of perpetuity is equal to C divided by R. So the easiest formula in this course, right? So the present value of perpetuity is just the, uh, the cash flow per period divided by the rate per period. Easy. Now, of course, 
We can rearrange this, so if you wanted to get the rate, the rate is equal to the C divided by the present value of the perpetuity, right? So we can rearrange this for R or C easily. The big takeaway from this is uh, when, you know, that uh, if we're going to calculate the present value of perpetuity, this is the same as discounting each individually, right? You will get the same answer. So if you want, sometimes when I'm, I'm programming something, I might discount each individually. Uh, so, you know, and most of the time here, I, I would just use this formula. Uh, but there might be instances where, you know, and I do a lot in Excel when I do this just to show you that that is equivalent to discounting each individually. Good, again, the idea is if you discount each individually, you have to go out far enough that, uh, that uh, the adding the additional term does not uh, affect your sum. Remember, if you're going out to a penny, I, I just have to push it out so that adding an additional term might add 0 0.00001 or something like that, and then, then you're going to get the same answer. Uh, second, uh, we're going to use this, the next thing we're going to talk about is an annuity. We're going to use this to calculate the uh, present value of an annuity. Excellent.